Hey everyone, welcome back to What I Reading. It's wonderful to have you guys back here. So today we're going to be doing another series of uh, Pick a Pod here. And today's topic, it's going to be about what's brewing about you. So uh, I've already pulled the cards here for you guys and I already prepared the pile. And let us see. So pile one, we have your enchanting holiday. We have a different narrative on the wild side. The second part we have here simply smarter, shuffle, too hard to get, keep a secret, all that glitters. And part three we have and then youth, enjoy your life and we have power. So you can select on the words that available on the card here guys or whichever that's attracting you so we're gonna be dipping dive to see what's brewing about you guys so i will meet you on your path hey welcome pile number one this is for whoever selected this particular card a different narrative enchanting holiday and on the wild side here so let us see what's brewing about you here guys so before we look into this card let me just put it here i'm going to use this mystical shaman uh, oracle deck here just to see the overall energy for whoever selected power one here guys so what is brewing for you or uh, sorry about you here Okay, because from just now, I am saying for you, power one, what is brewing for you. So there could be something that's happening specially for you. So let us see. So power one. What's brewing for you? So the first card we have here, magic. We have your ascendant number 33. We have here the Earth Keeper, number 18. And we have here Soul Retrieval, number 49. And back of the deck, we have here the Sweat. Lodge number 54. Okay, guys, um, so the overall energy here we have the sweat lodge here, and from all these three cards, what I'm seeing here, guys, what is brewing for you definitely. A journey a journey of you going within of you identifying your own power here so whoever selected uh, power one I'm saying probably you having or you are going through some sort of a uh, phase of your life right now which you feel very shaky you feel very unsure you want to know more but there's a lot of uh, confusion I'm saying probably you've been praying for some sort of a different narrative here so I'm saying that uh, your ancestors it's kind of uh, guiding you through they are guiding you through to a, some sort of enchanted uh, journey here it's it's bringing you to it or to explore the wild side of you like this sweat lodge is bringing you back to the womb of a mother here yeah? like you're going within in order for you to gain some sort of a freedom here or to gain some sort of a higher perspective over the situation here like you do have a mission here so what is brewing for you, Pal One, definitely is some sort of a changes. It's like your manifestation. This is your manifestation. So it's like you, your, you are being pushed into this uh, journey here so that you can retrieve your own soul. 
you're supposed to be this earth keeper here to you do have some sort of a, a mission to be accomplished here but you are definitely not seeing your full potential yet or you you kind of not believing that you do have this wild side of you so i'm saying that you are being uh, what is brewing for you is a different narrative for you to have this different perspective of this different narrative of your life here part one but let us see more what is brewing for you this is what i am getting definitely from this mystical shaman deck here but let us see more based on the card that i've already pulled for you so the first card we have here vanity we have here king of wands yes definitely some sort of a, uh, adventure if you can see probably you have been taken your life for granted you probably been living a life which is quite uh, stagnant like monotonous like there's no much passion or probably you kind of like uh, uh, Put on stake your passion just in order to gain another thing which is kind of like you think that it's very much important so I'm seeing here the third card is ripeness so it talks about you liberating or you kind of freeing yourself from some sort of a situation here yes it's about risk what's brewing for you it's kind of, it's a freedom actually guys yes hand exactly in need of help and assistance and guidance yes you are being given this assistance this guidance is from your ancestor pal number one if you are wanting to know yes you've been thriving here for so many different seasons different weather here not knowing you just been doing the same thing a kind of a routine here without having much fun or any passion about life yes it's about work you're so good at it probably you are a perfectionist at your work or some sort of a serving here like a full-time job or full-time serving here service here but you are not in peace so i'm saying here what is brewing for you it's a peace peace is coming your way definitely your ancestors is bringing this towards you we have here number six mature woman And lastly, we have here Peacock. This definitely you, you are this divine being here. You are so divinely protected. You are a divine being here. You do definitely have some sort of a mission here uh, for you to do in this, in this earth like you have to protect something or you have to share some sort of a wisdom to the people around you like if you can see you have a lot of wisdom here probably you are taking it for granted or or actually you are been doing at wherever you are right now probably if it is a work if it is a service line or some sort of like a anything that related to service that i'm picking up uh, strongly or it can be uh, your work or any anything about health i'm saying that you are definitely in in you are doing in one in one way or another but i am seeing the people around you it's not kind of supporting you it's not the right people they're not encouraging you uh, probably it's like the message or the wisdom that you are trying to get out there it's not reaching because you are not doing from the place of passion here because you are doing it probably this for the sake of uh, stability or some sort of a yeah you are a magician here you are a magician here you are a great manifester here you can manifest a lot of things and what is happening to you this different narrative is being presented to you it's because of you have been manifesting and definitely this uh 
narrative it's going to lead you to a wild sight and for some of you with a mature woman here i am picking up uh, we have two six here so six or the month of june or virgo uh, the sign of virgo we have sagittarius here uh, it can be very prominent here six or the month of june so i'm seeing here for some of you this can also talk about um a relationship because we do have a hand year we have a holiday year totally a different narrative and this is a king of wands wands talks about passion and we have a matured woman here so i'm seeing that probably at this very moment you are kind of not aligned with your divine counterpart but i am seeing that peace is will be is being bring forward or bring into this situation here it's divinely guided here power one yeah. So what is brewing for you is on the way how you can handle the flow, on how you can handle, on how you can get it out, some sort of a mission of yours in this earth. So let us see. I'm just curious here. But definitely with driving card guys here, I am seeing definitely power one, you are very much protected here. You are very protected here. But let us see. I'm quite curious here. What will be that you need to do here? Part 1. We have the circle here. The circle talks about higher wisdom. It talks about coming to a circle it talks about a union united being together so i am definitely seeing that you have a lot of hands here yeah something very significant about hands here So you probably coming to a completion of a cycle here and you have a lot of support here. So you are just being asked to just uh, enjoy the ride. It's supposed to be like a holiday but sometimes it's not easy. Probably this could be something that totally wild for you. Uh, whoever selected power one but definitely this is in order for you to create the world that you want it's a different narrative so you have to take this risk here we have number 31 here it's asking you to take a leap of faith here so what is brewing for you is the chance that you've been asking for is you have been waiting for definitely it's going to be helping you to gain that self uh sufficient the self-independent or a self-reliant energy for some of you with this brightness also i'm saying that this is the perfect time this is the right time uh, for you to speak yes back of the deck here we have number six again and we have the bleed it's for you to cut or uh, for you to cut some sort of a because the blade talks about you to cut some some sort of a thing here to see certain things to cut certain people to cut a cord here to cut the ties with others for the, with the people with the situation that no longer uh, serves you to a higher purpose or even the blade also talks about uh, speaking the truth or to be honest here which is good for you definitely it talks also about services here guys yes with a hand here i'm saying that and six also talks about health and in this card here we have pertaining to food probably you've been called for some sort of a cooking or you want to do cooking serving Regardless, guys, what I'm saying, what is brewing for you, it's definitely a peace is coming your way. You don't have to be afraid or uh, worry because if you can see this king of wands here is very worried, it's very restless. 
but you have so much of helping hand here it's just matter of you realizing and you just accept the help here and trust the journey here because this is a totally a different narrative but it's going to be so enchanting this is something that you manifested for some of you definitely this is pertaining to your divine counterpart it's a very sacred union here that i'm saying so it's coming your way pal one so this is what i have for you that's brewing for you yep i am saying this is brewing for you the topic is supposed to be brewing about you, but I'm saying it's brewing for you because it kind of like directed just for part one, I'm saying, because probably this is what you guys really meant to know or meant to hear through this reading here. So till then, if, uh, if this reading does resonate with you guys, please let me know. I'll see you on my next reading, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome pal number two. This is for whoever selected this particular card here. Simply smarter. All that glitters. Shuffle too hard to get so let us see what is brewing about you here all of this is kind of showing me about someone or it is about you this is how people kind of get about you or this is how people see you pal too so before we look into this cards that i have already pulled out for you so let us use this uh, mystical shaman deck here just to see the energy of you pal 2 what is brewing about you here for pal 1 the reading has been kind of diverted to what is brewing for you so let us see specifically for you what is brewing about you pal 2 so we have here the stuff okay we have here number 51 so you do possess some power here you have some sort of a power authority here a voice that kind of like uh, capture a lot of people's uh, attention here pal two. and we have here the journey yes to journey the journey to see beyond to see the beyond beyond you to heal a certain part of you this can be kind of like uh, ancestral patterns some sort of a pain here i'm saying it's a pain a trauma kind of a negative experience here that probably kind of inflicted a lot of pain rage anger and we have here the mystical shaman here. Yes. And back of the deck we have here the gatherer. Yes. So what I'm seeing is that you have gathered. You have gathered some sort of information here. Um, yes. I'm saying it could be a secret or you are keeping it as a secret here probably it's kind of like too hard for you to get so what I'm picking up here pal too you definitely have some sort of a power here the power talks about the mystical shaman here but the way how you're gonna bring it forward uh, or to others is through the stuff here you probably have some sort of uh, power over people to share something because you are being uh, recognized you are being given attention here or people kind of gather around you or people look up to you so probably you have a choice here a choice of you saying the story in a very different light for what it is or in a different light you have a choice here because you are the mystical shaman here as long as you are willing to do it for a better future here yes for you to shuffle some sort of a story here as long as 
because you have an upper hand here. But what is brewing for you right now is this journey card. The journey card. About to. Okay, this card flew out. Okay, we has we have the endurance cross here. This is something very important. This is destined to happen here. We have a water, it's a cleansing. In all aspects of your life. Probably what I'm seeing here is that probably you kind of like um, use it. You kind of aware about this. Probably you keep it as a secret because you're aware of this. You you should be aware of this because you're a very smart person, very sharp person. Someone that you should already aware about this and i'm saying probably you are in this energy of asking whether is it too late to change it's if if it is resonating for you power two i would say it's not too late for you to change because i'm saying this is something that meant to happen yes it's happening right now i'm definitely seeing like some major ending major cycle is closing or a lot of things it's been cleansing right now in your life uh, yes it's all happening for a particular reason which is a healing it is meant to heal a lot of uh, ancestral patterns karmic ties a lot of things is been cleansing from your life in order for you to see things beyond the will for you to really understand rather than you just go for misuse this and it, uh, this power just for something that glitters something which is uh, you kind of misusing the energy the the ability that you have power to so this is what i i can able to see here but let us see more based on the card that we have i've pulled for you power to we have here yes, self-worth yes we have your honesty yes probably you kind of been keeping this power that you can able to gain people's trust you can able to gain people's attention like you can uh, probably you can be a leader a public speaker or a guru or mentor a guide that you kind of like bring forward like a messiah like you do have some sort of a knowledge here but you also have that freedom the liberty to just say for what it is like a sorry spelling or are you gonna change it so that it kind of resonate to the situation here we have here heather from the needy child to empathy take care of your inner child so i'm saying right now the healing that's going through is kind of healing your inner child To open to more sides here. For you to see more sides to a situation. More sides to people. So that you can resonate to others. So that you can change. And you just don't use it for all that glitters. Yes, spider. Probably you was... Uh, yeah, honestly. And we have spiders here. Probably you kind of like stuck. You kind of stuck in a very city, city situations. Probably this can be from your uh, secrets, smart moves in the past. Probably it's kind of like spread to become big spider web. So right now I'm saying it's all been cleansed. Yes, it's coming as a gift in your life. It's a gift that's coming in your life. That's been hand over to you yes i'm saying that you are being guided step by step here with this by the book yes with the number 11 here this you are being uh, guided to use it for uh, for others for others 
to help others and we have 11th house yes for humanity sake do it for the future yes you have the choice and 11th house talks about aquarius here is unconventional is a different someone who thinks out of the box someone who kind of uh, have a very innovative way yes so i'm seeing right now is that probably you had a lot of uh, influence from your association uh, with who you associate with your circle of friends it could have impacted a lot on your hopes and your wishes your vision uh, it kind of uh, did not help you to heal any way of your self-worth here yeah? so right now i'm seeing that you are going through some sort of a cleansing because you have to really understand yes we have an inner peace here a lot of abundance here so what is brewing for you i'm saying that people are gonna come towards you people around you people uh, whoever that that you're gonna be walking uh, in their life they're gonna find you to be very pos prosperous very fortunate very they're gonna be so needy towards you about to what i'm picking up here if you ever like you kind of aware about this uh gift of yours that you have probably in the past you was using it just to earn this glitter some sort of a material thing just to prove some sort of a worth self-worth to be fit in some sort of a group here yep so i'm seeing that it's because you you want to feel that you are required you are needed so i'm seeing that after this changes after this cleansing this healing happened to you you're gonna have this inner peace this inner peace is gonna bring a lot of people it's gonna attract a lot of people towards you because you are this mystical shaman here and we have the hangman new vision here so you have to be flexible for this and definitely with this particular card i'm seeing that your crown chakra is very active right now so what is brewing for you a lot of downloads is happening you are being uh, given with a lot of uh, downloads from your spirit guides from your ancestors from the universe to kind of guide you through but you just have to be flexible because you are going through a healing journey so don't be harsh on yourself and we do have your king of swords here yep you are very smart person here very smart very sharp here you do have a game plan here you always do have a game plan here but right now you are being guided to really understand to use this gift of yours to to help the humanity here So the advice for you we have here luminous warrior here so with this particular card what i'm seeing is that and we have honesty here you are being uh, illuminated to a light to the path of light here not to fall for any temptation here for lower frequency things to material world to earthly things but to use your gift to focus on your gift for humanity to help others to help the needy people to kind of bring use your gift to make the world a better place i'm saying the reason being why you are being chosen here because you went through this in the past group two 
So after this healing, this cleansing that happened, you're going to feel so empowered here. Because whatever that you might be feeling is too hard for you to get, you will get it very soon. And you will get it better than anyone else. And you're going to get feel very empowered here. And you will be the right one. And that's the reason why you are blessed with this gift. And people are going to be attracted towards you. So what I'm seeing here, what is brewing for you is definitely the healing, the cleansing. And it's about you seeing your own self-worth and to really understand about your gift here. So this is what I have for you, part 2. I really hope this reading resonates with you. Please let me know, guys. I will see you on my next reading. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome pile number three. This is for whoever selected this particular card here. And then you'd enjoy your life and we have power here. So pile three. What I'm seeing that probably you are feeling very tired these days or lately. You really have to have a proper rest here. That's what I'm seeing. So before we look into this card that I've selected for you, group 3, so let us look into the overall energy about what is brewing about you here. The last two part is somewhat is kind of guided on what is brewing for them. But let us see whether it's going to be like changed for you guys also. What is brewing about you? Let us see. For part 3, what is brewing about you here? What is brewing about you? Okay. We have the middle world here. So this middle world card, it's a yes. It is a definite yes. It's a very solid yes. If you are waiting or seeking for some sort of a confirmation here. But you need to stop playing mind game here. That's what I'm saying. Pal tree. I'm, I'm not sure for who is this. It's a yes. We have flow. 20. And we have the lower wall. And back of the deck, we have here standstill. I'm getting a lot of message here for Pal Tree. Probably a lot of different scenarios here. But definitely all of you in some way, kind of in, in, in a state of like pause, standstill. Because you guys kind of not sure. But this is a powerful change here. This powerful change, this new portal, this new doorway, it's going to bring you to your hidden treasure here. What I'm seeing here with the middle world flow and the world, the lower world here. What I'm seeing here is that you have a lot of potential, a lot of hidden treasure within you, paltry. But definitely intentionally you are kind of uh, not making a move, not changing, not aligning yourself 
For some of you, maybe this is a powerful change. For some of you, you probably still want to enjoy your life. Probably you are not ready for the change or probably you are afraid. Whether will you be accepted or will you be isolated? Will anyone accept you? But it's kind of asking you to open up your heart. Because the more you're going to flow, the more you're going to let yourself to flow with the changes that's happening. You're going to get, you're going to, you know, you're going to get to know how you can handle the flow here. I'm saying here, definitely power three, you are someone, what is proving about you right now is that you're feeling very powerless over the situation any situation of your life right now so definitely i'm seeing a lot of things is brewing like being triggered in your life right now Probably right now with the lower world here right now, you probably are struggling. You are in hurt. You are being hurt or you are hurting right now. You are going through some difficult situation right now. Some painful situation right now. I'm seeing the reason being is that you are not accepting something from your past. We have here from the youth. Something from your past here. You are not accepting, but it is a yes for you. Paltry. But let us see more here. What is brewing for you here? About you, sorry. About you. We have confusion. Yeah. Confusion. We have the Empress here. We have mind. If you can see this particular card, there's a lot of tower moment, a lot of things are falling apart. Probably your ideas, a lot of your decision making, a lot of your thoughts, everything causing a lot of chaos, a lot of unnecessary arguments, disagreements, falling out. If you can see this confusion, even in this confusion, you are being protected. In the lower world right now, you probably are in the lower world right now. In the lower world, who's protecting you is your ancestors is protecting you. Pal three. Because they want you to look back your past. A certain past that you are trying to ignore. You are trying not to see. You are trying to disregard yourself here. Because they want you to to get whole back again as, as a whole. Probably you are fragmented right now. Probably you could have left a part of you in the past. So you are not feeling powerful enough right now. And we have a success here. Yes, like what I said, it's a yes, it's a success. Whatever that you have in your mind, this can be something pertaining to the Empress here. And Empress, it talks also about success. It can be you are dealing with an empress or you can be the empress here. Regardless, I am saying it's a success here. Wish coming true. And we have arrow here. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. You are being pulled backward right now so that you can go further, further forward here we have a gateway here gateway here yeah something magical very magical here it's your blessing blessing coming we have here ninth house sagittarius here spiritual value probably you are in a in a probably you are traveling in some way 
in some way. For some, you probably might be studying right now. For some, it can be involving something legal here. Yes, what I'm seeing here, what is brewing about you that do not think lesser, think small for you. Do it in a big way. You meant to be big here. You meant to be the empress here. And we have a loyal heart. This can also talk about connection here. To be shared. You have and we have a change number nine again number nine can be very significant here number nine and we have your endurance you are enduring right now probably you feel like a lot of things around you like ice cold probably you are feeling it so ice cold you don't feel warmed positive anymore because things are just not happening right for you because they want you to really awake to awaken to your truth for you to honor and for you, so that it can stop haunting you stop haunting you you need to change something here, guys. Things have opened for you. This blessing has been manifested for you. You are on the right path here. Something which is very loyal, but you're enduring. You have to change. You have to move. You have to let it go. You meant to flow. You have to flow. You can't stand still anymore because it's going to cause a more fallout, more tower moment for you guys. More powerful tower moment here. We have here rainbow for you. Rainbow. Number 41 can be very prominent here. Even the bird is kind of like going forward here movement a lot of movement cards is here a lot of movement cards but only this card it's kind of like you are putting through okay with all of this what i'm saying it's about your spiritual because it has a spiritual value here so what i'm saying is that probably you are doing some sort of a meditation here for some of you to align your chakra or to or something which is happening here probably it's your healing of your root chakra here of you feeling safe that you kind of embracing yourself you feel safe protected so with this rainbow card what i'm seeing is that your endurance is about to end because this gateway is already open if you can see the light is shining and you already come to number nine, nine, nine. Tent will be the completion here. So you just need to persevere. If you are walking in a dark forest, I'm saying that you have already seen the light. So it's so now is not the time for you to give up, to let it go, because I'm seeing it's a success here. It's a yes card just now. But do not let go. You are on the right path here. But that also does not mean that you need to stop. You have to continue persevere, endure here. You have to move forward. It's movement forward. You have to go forward. 
forward. It's a sense of belonging. It's a sense of sta stable within you. The sense of belonging within you. That's what's brewing about you. Here, pile tree. Yeah. This is the judgment call. This is the judgment call. It's a powerful change here, pile tree, happening for you. So this is what I have for you, pal three. I really hope this reading resonates with you. Please let me know, guys. I will see you on my next reading. Bye-bye.